How does he feel about you? Then and now. Hi, beautiful soul. Thank you for joining me, Mystic Mia Moksha, here on Mostly in the Moment for another love pick a card reading. We're looking at how he felt about you then, and how he felt about the connection then, and how he feels about you now, and the connection between the two of you now. Just to let you know, I do have a 20% off summer sale going on for all personal readings. More information is in the description below. We have four piles here. You may choose a pile based on the number, the image, the colors, the crystals, the emojis that resonate with you. The timestamps are below. These are timeless readings and they should resonate no matter what your status and love is. And with that, I just want to say thank you so much to those that have supported this light work. I support your light work as well, my beautiful soul friend. And with that, I hope you enjoy the reading and I wish you much love and light. Hi, beautiful pile one. The Lapis Lazuli and the Attraction card. We're looking at how he felt about you then and how he feels about you now. So let's start with how did he feel about you back then. Air, open-mindedness, objectivity, and learning. And the Ten of Flutes, that's the Ten of Cups. The proposal, oh wow. Just an extreme amount of happiness. Um, kind of a little bit delusional. Um, I feel like they were so infatuated by you and the idea of you and the idea of where this might lead that um they were extremely happy <laughs> yeah they were they very much had a huge crush on you and it was like all their dreams were coming true it felt very surreal like i can't believe she's wanting to be with me and that we're in this relationship and it's so awesome every day is amazing it's rainbow butterflies and sunshine I feel like they were very open to the possibility of the future, of who you might be, of what what they will uncover about you. They were very hopeful and they really did feel like you were the one and that the sky is the limit for sure. So how did they feel about the connection back then? Cupid's arrow, yeah for sure. Have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation. Yeah, so there's a little bit of nervousness. And it's a, it's because they had a huge crush on you immediately or for a while or as soon as they saw you. And they had an immediate feeling of, wow, this is the perfect woman. She's the one. It really just like struck him in the heart. There might have been a soul connection there. And so they really felt attracted to you immediately and not just physically, but your whole energy, your whole vibe, um, everything, your imperfections, the silly things that you did. It was just very alluring to them. Ten of Wands. And it came out in reverse first. It felt like you were the whole package, like everything that they wanted in a potential mate, you had. So they were kind of like, okay, time to wrap things up. This is this is it. This is the one. Like this is where I get to just enjoy my life now because everything's perfect. This woman is perfect. Our relationship will be perfect. I got what I want. Not in a million years that I think I would land someone like this. Here she is you know, I wonder what this means for my life. Like, it, it, they really felt like they were on cloud nine, like anything that they could, their confidence was like on another level dating you. So, or knowing that you walked into their life, like they could go after anything and accomplish it. Like you gave them that much confidence. Um, this connection or the potential of this connection gave them that much confidence immediately. All right. So, how do they feel about you now? Happiness in reverse. And gratitude. They're really happy for what you gave them in, in their life. You made them super happy. You made them feel again. You made them have like... You know, they might have been in a place where they were just kind of 
numb, um, felt really dull, felt like there's no excitement in life. Maybe they just got out of a really bad situation where they just felt like they won't feel happy ever again. And then you came along and you made them extremely happy. Um, they are extremely grateful for what you did for them and the happiness that you brought for them. Um, they were really stuck in a rut and you really pulled them out of it. They're really hopeless and you made them hopeful. Um, they really didn't think they would ever have a chance at love again or a chance at true love and you made them think otherwise. You really opened them up in terms of love. How do they feel about the connection now? Sun. Your son is watched over and protected as he explores his world. So for some of you, you have children with this person and um, they are extremely grateful for you providing them with children and or a child and they will never regret meeting you and having a relationship with you because of the child you provided um, for them that is their ultimate happiness, their reason for living, their legacy that they pass on. You gave them the most important gift in the world and they will cherish it forever. Temperance. All right, for some of you, this, this connection has already gone through its moment. It had its moment in the sunlight and maybe you should try it again, um, but it, it's passed and it's kind of like, all right, like, I'll never regret this connection. It gave me so much. It put me back on my feet. It made me happy. I was happy to be with you and to have this relationship with you. You know, I was like dumbstruck when I found, first found you because you were that hot. You were that sexy. You are that total package. Um, for most of you, I feel like you wanted to move on. Uh, maybe that was the issue in the connection where you felt like they were never good enough and they're like, okay, I can't continue being in a connection where I feel like I'm never going to be good enough. We have our differences. Let's go our different ways. But something came out of this connection. Whatever happened, like something came bore out of this connection, whether it's a child, children, or something else, maybe uh, a greater truth, a greater knowing, um, an opportunity, something, something bore, like this connection bore fruit, like something good kind of came out of it. That's, that's why you two were soulmate connections and it was very karmic, but you learned your lessons, but you two really got something very big out of this connection. Um, for, for fewer of you, um, this connection is continuing with utter happiness it's like you continue to make each other happy but it's a different happy than in the beginning of the connection you know it's like you're more mature the happiness that the things that make you both happy are a little bit more different now um like seeing your children play and grow up um gives you a quiet sense of happiness it's not like before um and things like that, maybe simple pleasures, quietness, um, enjoying your hobbies, um, giving each other space makes the other person happy, I'm hearing, or just watching a movie that you know that they don't particularly like, but they've grown to like because you love it so much, you know, things like that. Um, things, happiness that you gain through being with someone for a very long time, that's the kind of happiness that you two are gaining at this time. So this pile is definitely for those that um, that either this is someone who you've dated and you two reminisce about each other once in a while and there's something that you two are connected by, an experience or something physical like a child or a business or a job opportunity or, you know, um, something, something bore fruit from this connection. Um, and if you're, or if you're still together, and, and in that case, this is a very long lasting with the temperance here connection that is going to have a lot of peace and serenity for the most part. I mean, every connection has ups and downs, but for both of you, it's very even keel. Like it's definitely a very 
harmonious, long-lasting connection that's going to bore fruit and happiness for days to come. And it's, their happiness is going to grow and evolve with the two of you. So yeah, with the proposal here, there's, um, there's a good chance that uh, some, a lot of you, like when he saw you, he knew you were the one. And for others, like he thought you were the one, but um, it was because you two were together because um, you two were meant to bore this fruit, bring something else into the world together and you two will never regret the connection because of that all right so pile one i hope you enjoyed this reading if you did i really appreciate a like a comment and with that i hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and i wish you much love and light hi beautiful pile two with the dalmatian jasper and the in tune card we're looking at how he feels about you now and then <laughs> then and now <laughs> All right, so let's start with how he felt about you then. South node, destined to release. So south node typically um, denotes something that's coming from a past life, something that you already um, have mastered and um, a skill that you could bring into this life, but you're, um, you're aiming for the north node. So this is something that is very comfortable an immediately immediate sense of knowing each other an ease in connection and getting to know you it's just very easy to talk to you i'm hearing knight of roses knight of wand the front runner i'm getting this energy that like it was it was very obvious that like you were always in the front of their mind you know you were the standout for them out of everyone else out there you stood out and you were always like their first crush or the crush that they're always going to have. I'm getting this feeling of maybe you have similar friends or you worked in a really big office or, you know, it's like you've seen each other in passing at restaurants or bars or something like that, but you've always, this person always saw you as the one that got away or the one that they will always have feelings for or the one that they will always have a huge crush on, the biggest crush on. Um, it just feels so easy to be with you, to be around you, talk to you, um, even touch you and hold you. It's just like, you're, it's very synchronistic. And like the way that you two move together, it's like two magnets. Very beautiful. All right, so how did he feel about the connection back then? Date, meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan, set a date, okay? And the Ace of Cups, oh wow, okay, so I feel like that you two did go on a date at the least, if not more. So it feels like you at least went on a date or had a short-term fling. Um, there was, again, immediate attraction and you two were just so in tune with each other. Um, it feels like they asked you out either immediately or almost immediately, or if not, they like have been wanting to ask you out for a very long time. And it's like, finally, you were single, they were single, or both of you are in the same place or something worked out where they could finally ask you out. But it felt like, yes, we finally got that date or we finally got to date for that period of time. How does he feel about you now? Let's see how he feels about you now. Message of love. Interesting. And Mongolia. Nobility and self-esteem. They feel like you're very kind-hearted and you have only the nicest things to say about them when when you definitely have very negative things to say about them as well. I feel like you hold yourself in higher regards and you when you speak to this person you know instead of pointing out all the things that they did wrong or all the things that went wrong in the connection unless they explicitly ask you oh what could I have improved on um you know what were my worst qualities in as as a partner Unless they explicitly explicitly asked you these questions, I feel like you kind of kept it to yourself, um, and you just kind of, 
you know, kept the peace and kind of only said positive things about the other person or neutral things about the other person. And that's just kind of a nod to how powerful you are and how much higher a higher rank you have with him than anyone else it's because he doesn't know anyone else who behaves like you you know everyone else would be talking smack behind his back calling him every you know name in the book or gossiping or you know um having his their friends and others kind of gang gang up and kind of um not treat him well um but you only say nice things about him or neutral things or don't talk about him at all um and that just gives you so much more respect They just hold you in such high regard and they're like, okay, like, I don't deserve this person. Like, the people I hang out with are so shitty, excuse my language, but it's like, this person is in a different league. Like, they need to be in a different crowd, neighborhood, um, like, they're living a much higher standard of life than me or the people that I know. Okay, so... How does he feel about the connection now? Marriage. The fairies join you in celebrating wedded bliss. And king of wands. Wow. So I feel like this person really wants to marry you. And, um, you know, they're, they're coming at you with a lot of love. It seems like it's very easy and comfortable but there's something about this there's something about this okay for some of you yeah definitely you two kind of felt destined to be together you felt like this past past life connection um you can finish each other's sentences you are you're each other's best friends um it was you it was always you i'm hearing um they love the way that you respect yourself and hold yourself um it makes them want to be a better person and kind of be on your level and with the knight of wands and then the king of wands here like they definitely you made them kind of want to take action in this connection they always stepped up because they want you you are the prize there's nothing in their life that they will have that is as valuable as this connection and so you always made them push themselves in this connection and um, you accepted it. You were like, yeah, this is, um, this is someone who is taking the lead, uh, taking charge, and it's because they really want this, and they like me, and they've proved it to me, they've shown it to me. Um, and like, your, your just energy commands that kind of respect and that kind of action towards you. Um, and so I do feel like a lot of you might end up with this person, um, cause they really took charge and, um, knew what they wanted from the get go. Um, they didn't mess around. They didn't play around. They knew what they wanted. They took action and they continued to take action in this connection. And that's what every woman just wants, right? It's a, is a man who knows what they want and will keep at it. Um, keep taking actions that they feel is helpful for the connection and that's it <laughs> and that's where that's how you get marriage right um and that's how you get a woman of this kind of quality right um so for for a lot of you this kind of um is like the fairy tale connection you two are best friends you two have you two are so similar in your energies. You might have different um, interests, but it just are very complementary. Um, like for example, if one of you likes to 
read books. The other person might like to silently chop wood outside or something. So it's like, oh, I can do this while you do that. We have our space. Maybe both of you like space sometimes to do your own thing or your own meditative things. Um, so it's not the exact same thing, but it's very complimentary. Or maybe you both do love reading and it's like, oh, I'll, I'll get the tea this time, you know, and you cuddle up on a rainy day near our windows and just read next to each other or in different rooms. And it's like, both of you um, just have um, the same kind of movements. You can just like move around each other in your home and in this in the state in the space together i feel like people who even just um are around you at parties and stuff are just mesmerized by um how you both kind of move in sync and, and answer things in sync and know exactly what the other person is talking about when they're when they say something like oh remember that story about that time when we like yeah 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 okay let me tell a story you know just totally in sync and for others of you i'm getting this was too easy and too comfortable and it felt like you needed something more. It, this felt like it might be settling for you. This person might have put it all out there, um, but you might have felt like you were settling um, a little bit and that you kind of wanted a little bit more of a challenge in love. And by challenge, I mean just something that kind of um, brought you out into new experiences, new adventures, and... Um, you know, you acknowledge that this person gave you their best, but it was just not what you were looking for. And so you kind of let them down easily, uh, gently. And, um, you know, you'll always see them with kind eyes and you'll always have warm words about, the, about them and to them. But um, you knew that you were destined for something um something more like you were looking like he was a knight and you were looking for your king you know and um and I believe you if you were looking for your king I feel like you found him or you will be soon because with the marriage and the king of wands here I feel like this person is if it's not already in your life they're coming in very soon and you'll know because they match this kind of like air of nobility as you there's this like regality in your in your energy in the work that you do and the way that you think this person's going to match that it's a rare quality not many people have it otherwise we'll have so many kings and queens right so yeah either way pile two like you found the love of your life and it's a very special and rare thing this kind of connection where you're both just so in tune with each other it doesn't it doesn't always happen not not on this level so this this is a really special love special connection and i'm very happy for you pal too so i hope you enjoyed this reading and if you did i really appreciate a like a comment and with that i hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and i wish you much love and light hi beautiful pile three for the unikite and the love card we're looking at how he felt about you then and now. So let's start with how he felt about you then. Capricorn, ambition, realism, and methodical steps. So he definitely felt like you were very well organized or had really good plans for your future, not just in romantic love, but your life in general. And um, here to make friends, three of flutes. He liked that about you, but at the same time, he didn't know, he was a little intimidated by it, so he didn't know if he should kind of stay friends with you or kind of try to get you to like him by being friends at first. He wasn't sure how you would react to someone just outright saying, I want to date you or I want to take this slowly or I don't want to exactly do the what you have planned I have my own plans or I kind of would like my own input in a relationship so um I definitely feel like this person kind of played it off like yeah we can just be friends you know to take the stress off of him um 
but he did recognize that you are very ambitious, a very um, smart woman that knew what she wanted and, um, you know, it was, you were going to figure out a way to get it, <laughs> to um, put it mildly, but I feel like there's nothing, nothing wrong here on your, your end either because it feels like you were just kind of planning for your life. You know, women have to think differently. If we want kids, we have a biological clock, so we have to plan things accordingly. It's kind of why females are really good at um, time management and um, multitasking. So um, I feel like they were intimidated at the at with this at first. Um, they might have not had a really healed feminine energy within themselves. They might have not acknowledged the feminine energy within themselves or around them. Um, they might have not had too much female influence growing up or healthy, good female influence. Um, so yeah, so they were a little bit intimidated, unsure. They weren't around people like you often or, um, you know, they were kind of freaked out <laughs> to say the least with your very ambitious plans for the future. So what do they think about the connection between the two of you? Not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call person, boundaries, still angry. Yeah, so I feel like with the friends things, it, it kind of gave them a cushion, a time cushion to kind of like keep you open as an option, but kind of also have a way out if this is what they not choose not to pursue in the future. So yeah, it is kind of a cop-out. It absolutely is a cop-out. Um, but yeah, they, they just didn't want to confront the commitment aspect of this because then it makes everything you were saying very real. And it kind of feels like their whole life is planned out for them. And that made them very ap apprehensive. Okay, so four of wires, the four of wands, which is a happy marriage and happy home card. So like underneath it all, they kind of knew, they're like, this is what's going to make me happy. This woman makes me happy. You know, um, they friend zone themselves because they love having you in their life. They like the connection that you two have, but they were really, I don't know, deathly afraid of marriage, even though they knew they knew that they would be extremely happy being with you and taking on all the new um, responsibilities and experiences in this next chapter of their life. But for some reason, they wanted to prolong it. They had to wrap their head around it. Um, it felt like everything was happening too soon. Everything was happening, uh, like, you know, not of their own volition. Like it, it's, it wasn't their will, it was your will. And they're just listening to everything you say. And so they kind of felt like they were not included in the decision making um or like they wouldn't be um they were overwhelmed by by what you had to say about your future back then okay so what about now how does he feel about you now anger oh uh oh what is this anger about prosperity and compassion oh wow Okay. Prosperity depends more on wanting what you have than on having what you want. Okay, so I see I see that they were angry for not taking action before. You know, they're they're mad at their their old self. It's like, hey, why didn't you take her up on the offer? back then? Why didn't you do something? Why didn't you take action back then? Why did you, you know, sissy out? <laughs> and, um, you know, we could have been in a really good place right now, enjoying a lot of these things that I see my friends or family members or other people in my workplace and neighborhood have like why did I wait so long 
to make moves back then. Um, for some of you, they missed out on this opportunity and they know it. They feel it. it may, it's making them very angry. Maybe you're about to um, move on to another connection or maybe you already have. Maybe you're already pursuing these things that you wanted in your life with another person or you soon will be and they feel it in their energy. Others of you, maybe you did end up with this person, but they're kicking themselves for not making moves earlier, like starting this beautiful, wonderful life that they love sooner. And it might be because, you know, it was a better time to buy a home or it was a better time to have children. There, there might have been less complications. You know, they would have got the home instead of their sibling or, um, the, you know, they would have... They, could have um, landed this job earlier or, you know, they kind of, you know, this, they just found out that they have a dead-end job and, you know, they, could, they would have changed it earlier if they knew, you know, they were going to be married to you or have kids with you or move anyway with you. So there's something about, like, them being very angry, especially at the time that you're watching this reading, where they're looking back and they're like, what? did I do? I messed things up. Okay, so how does he feel about the connection now, more importantly? Love life. The basis of your question involves your romantic life, which is now changing for the better. And the seven of swords. Okay. I feel like this is your energy. Like, I feel like you're standing up for what you know you deserve. Like, you deserve someone who um, knows what they want and takes action and um, isn't going to keep you, like, strong along. Um, and um, is very open and honest with how they feel and what they want and the future and is not afraid to talk to you about it. Like, you deserve true love and you know it and... That's what's coming in. Or for um, very few of you that ended up with this person, I feel like this is a wound that they carried for a very long time and they aren't forgiving themselves and they might even create space between the two of you because they know a lot of the issues that you have, you two have now, are because of the actions they took back then or the lack of actions that they took back then. And it's really affecting your connection now because of all these issues and problems and fights that are coming up between the two of you and they know it's like their fault. And then they might, you know, project on you and then they feel ashamed and then they run away and they take space. Um... And so after they heal this wound, now that it's coming up very strongly for you, if you two are in a connection still or in a connection now, um, after they heal this wound, the, the next chapter of your love life with them will be vastly improved and much, much, much um, harmonious, more harmonious and loving and where you two are on the same page. So I feel like at this time you're kind of like, helping them fight their battles, um, you know, working it through with them gently and kind of like if you were in their shoes, everyone makes mistakes, but this is a very big one and you acknowledge that and they're very ashamed of that, but being in sh a sh um, shameful energy is a very, very low frequency to be in. So um, if you help him heal this wound, um, everyone will benefit, you know, and he will, he will be there for you more because he will never forget, forget this, what you did for them. Um, yeah, so we, I see two different outcomes here. Either, you know, you know, you deserve better and, um, this is an indication that you're either in the right connection right now that is true love or that's coming in for you right now. Um, or that if you are with this person, if you ended up with this person or in, in a relationship with this person now, 
um, that they hold this really big wound of um, what they didn't do to move this connection along in the past and how selfish and wrong and dishonest it was. It really, it really hurt them. They really understand the true, they actually love you and that's why it hurts them so much with what they did in the past. So it's it's up for it's up to the two of you to kind of work through that and make it happen. And if so, the next chapter of your love life is going to be amazing. Um, yeah. So either way, pile three, it's a win-win situation for you. Um, you have found the true love of your life, or you're about to find the true love of your life, and this is um, this is a sign that you are deserving of a lot of prosperity and compassion um you definitely will see an uptick in your finances and just a wealth of love can usually translate into physical manifestations of other things that you love so watch your world expand as you find someone to hold that space for you, hold that love for you, hold that compassion for you, and um, really understand what you've been through. If this is someone you're new or someone else or someone coming in, they're going to have a real deep um, sympathy and empathy for what you've been through in your life because they've gone through something similar. Um, and so you, there's like a really deep love connection there between the two of you if this is the same person um then it's kind of like this this situation this wound healing is going to bring new heights to your love it's going to deepen the connection to a depth that you two never might have believed you could reach and and it's here so pile three wishing you all the best this is definitely a sign of true love in your in your life we see i see shooting star here so this is like a dream come true love life for you that you might have always wished for didn't know if it would ever happen and it and it is, it's here so i'm um, very happy for you i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did i really appreciate a like or comment and with that i hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and i wish you much love and light Hi, beautiful pile four, the tiger's eye and the bloom card. We're looking at how he felt about you then and now. So let's start with how did he feel about you then? Scorpio, intensity, exposing, purging, and renewing. Wow. So this was a very explosive um, connection, explosive feelings of how he felt about you. Um, it was very instant and it was very intense. The mansion, wow, the four of roses or the four of wands. So this is the happy marriage, happy home card, but it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like he wanted to marry you right away. So he might have asked you out right away. He might have asked for like a, a deeper commitment, maybe moving in or having and pay some of your bills or rent or act like a married couple right away or even you know talk about marriage or kids right away seeing the parents right away or um, family and friends right away something of that sort it was a very intense feeling that he felt about you he felt like you were the one he wanted to kind of sweep you off your feet and carry you away carry you into the sunset and you know call it call it the end of the movie this is where you get to live out your highest and best life you know um very intense um, they felt of extreme attraction to you thought you were very drop dead gorgeous i'm hearing and um they just want to give you everything they they pictured um the two of you living in a very beautiful and grand lifestyle together and just living out your days with a lot of happiness a beautiful social life and you know decking yourself out every day so how did he feel about the connection sunglasses yeah that's so funny I, I pictured like the sun 
so like a nice big home in like a sunny area watching looking stalking gaslighting perception fo focusing out yeah i feel like this person um was slightly obsessed by uh obsessed with you um I, i'm not feeling that it was like creepy or anything but i feel like they just kind of like would always look at you if you were in the same room um, look at your expressions, your reactions to things. Um, they'd always like check check up on your social media. Um, they're curious about your life. They'll ask you more questions about you and your life than they would answer about their own. Um, Ace of Pentacles. Oh wow, yeah, which is uh, definitely a sign again that they gave you an offer right away or they wanted to maybe you denied it maybe you accepted it maybe you said let's hold off a little bit so it seems a little bit too soon for me but um yeah very very intense feelings um i'm not getting anything negative just very eager um sometimes when i feel someone wanting someone this badly pursuing um someone a romantic interest this much it usually indicates to me that they feel lacking in some other way in their life maybe they feel like they're not at where they want to be um, in their work in terms of their status or finances or maybe they're feeling down about themselves so if they see someone like you on their shoulders then you on their arms then it feels like yeah I, I must be doing something right in my life like I'm I'm obviously you know the ish I'm I'm awesome I'm the bomb I'm doing great so yeah when I see someone pursuing someone this eagerly it is usually an indication that something is wrong there um otherwise it could be like a playboy situation where you're where you're their, their goal <laughs> um, and you saying no to them or indicating that you're not interested makes them want to pursue you even more and they have this like exaggerated idea about you um, which makes them crazy and want you even more kind of thing. Um, yeah, so it is, a, it is a little bit unhealthy or at least it was. Um, it made them do kind of crazy things like ask you to jump into something very serious right away, um, to ask you out right away or to kind of, you know, pursue this very, um, very in a straightforward manner and very eagerly, but it not in a very sexy way, like, oh, they're they know what they want and they're not afraid to go after it but in a kind of like oh this is a little intense this is making me not feel comfortable kind of way okay so how does he feel about you now it's not me and it came out in reverse so i'm like yeah it's absolutely them um yeah i saw like this gaslighting thing so i'm like this person could be a little bit of a narcissist and they don't understand why you wouldn't want to be with them. Maybe this is someone it, who is doing really well at work and status-wise, you know, um, come from a good family or have a lot of money. And so they just are like gaslighting you like, oh yeah, no one else would ever want you. You know, you're only pretty because I buy you those nice things or, you know, um, you know, I made you, um, successful you owe your you know success to me you owe who you are today because of me maybe they um hooked you up with someone that they network with um and now they feel like they own your life or something or or i'm getting it's just like the opposite like you gave this person no mind no attention and they kept like pestering you um maybe once in a great while they'll just be like hey how's it going and it's like hey like 
I forgot you were even on this social media page. Like, it's not cool. Yeah, I told you not to contact me again. You know, and then, like, you just completely keep blocking them. They keep, like, finding new ways to, like, message you. And it's like, ugh. Like, um, yeah, the energy is not cool. Um, devotion and dreams filled and came out in reverse. I feel like this is them. Um, they really associate you with their dreams and desire. So there's something about you that reminds them of like, hey, if I get her to be with me, then I will definitely have all my dreams come true. You know, and not just in love, but in everything else. Like, so they associate you somehow. Like, they've been thinking about you so much that their brain now associates you with happiness and success and achievement and you know dreams fulfilled so they're devoted now to um winning you over um okay so now it's getting a little bit unhealthy <laughs> um maybe a lot bit unhealthy let's see what they think about the connection now debt paid off the old weight and habit of debt is lifted from you in your life yeah you don't owe this person anything all right spirit wants you to know you don't owe this person anything and um the best exercise is to kind of just talk to them as if they're in the room don't talk to them physically or in person unless you feel intuitively that's like the right way to go like you you know, they have a good head on their shoulders and they're not being crazy and you can talk to them and be like, hey, like, I really need you to, you know, change your mindset. Like, this is never going to happen. Uh, I already told you that we're going our different ways. Like, please move on with your life or, you know, I wish you all the best. It's the last time I'll talk to you. Okay, bye. <laughs> you know, like, very succinct, succinct, succinct and, um, to the point but if they're crazy um i would just um imagine like being being in your room or in your car or somewhere where you're kind of have like space to yourself um and just imagine that person in front of you or next to you or something uh sitting next to you or you know um just floating in the sky whatever um and just talk to them and be like hey like the karmic debt has been paid off I don't owe you anything you don't owe me anything just like cut this cord and move along you know tell your higher self and your higher, your higher guides to kind of protect you and um, tell their higher guidance to kind of keep them you know in their own business in their own life and away from you Yeah, let's see. Five of Wands. Yeah, because I do see a little bit of conflict here. Um, the good thing is it's not um, too severe or extreme. Um, but I do see that this is an issue. This person has been bothering you. You know, I try to see this energy as someone who um, maybe had good intentions and maybe were just a little bit nervous and kind of being a little bit awkward because of that um but it does seem like now this person is actually um maybe has a screw loose or something um you know someone who definitely needs some help or needs space away from you or to forget about you um if you feel like you've kind of taken enough actions like blocking them you know you told them once already to like not bother you maybe some I'm getting a couple of you have restraining orders um then it's time to take it to a more professional level right um if you talk to your friends or family members about this issue um but yeah I would try the spiritual way is, is to break the energy connection um and you could intuitively feel into how you can do that. Um, yeah. 
yeah, because I do feel like this is a current conflict for you, this person. But I see with the Bloom card here, like, you're about to... Your love life is about to bloom or it's currently blooming. Like, you're, you're in your best energy right now, Pile 4, and you're attracting a lot of the right people in your life romantically and even like platonic soulmate friends and just like the right the right like community the right the right people places and things you're in your full energy right now so you should not be bothered by anything um just dist distracting you or trying to block you the keyword there is trying because they can't you are you are in this awesome state um and you're just going to go up on uh, up and up and up but it does feel like there's one person they can't block you completely but they can be a great annoyance um you know it's just like you're done with this person that's fine you don't think about them or whatever but then they keep um bothering you so it's kind of like oh dang like how do i get rid of this person like i'm trying to move on with my life but they keep popping up out of nowhere and not because of my just my decision but not because of anything i'm doing that's when it's time to take vital um action steps you can take spiritual steps you can um back it up with some physical action you know talk to some professional or if your friends and family has an idea because um, you should just take it up by a little bit of action and then you're and then it'll like um, go away for you because you're, you're in your real you're in a really beautiful state right now I'm getting like you're blooming at night some of the most rare flowers bloom at night and sometimes they only bloom for like one night out of the year or something um, and I'm getting that's you like I feel like this is like a rare energy that you're in and it's time for you to do like use that rare energy for a lot of things in your life including your love life and um you need to get rid of this pest um try energetically first and then physically if one of your friends or family members have an idea and sometimes just taking an action no matter if it's the right action or not is enough to tell the universe oh yeah okay okay we get the hint we got this we, we're moving this guy out all right pile four so i hope this reading was helpful it's not exactly what i was expecting um yeah but i i wish you all the best good luck with everything and if this reading resonated i really appreciate a like or comment and let me know what the situation is you know maybe maybe me or someone in the comment section can help too and with that i hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and i wish you much love and light